Today we're working with the Jacquard marbling kit for paper and fabric. This includes everything in the kit except the surface to paint on. Uh, the one thing I do want to point out is that it has fantastic instructions in the kit and you'll want to keep referring back to it. It even shows you different patterns for your paint and the design. It gives you troubleshooting and everything. So throughout your whole project you can use this paper. Okay, the first thing you want to do is pull out all your ingredients and take your alum. This product is what we put in the water to set our fabric or our silk so the paint binds to it. It's a binding agent. So we're going to mix them in there. Please follow the instructions. Then we're going to immerse our fabric. Make sure everything gets wet. Now another way you can prepare your surface for painting is put your alum mixture in a spritzer bottle and spritz it. Or you can take a sponge and lightly wipe over it. Again, allowing it to dry for at least a half hour. Okay, the next thing we're going to work on is preparing our water for the paint. And we're going to use a product called Methasol. This treats the water. Okay, what you want to do is take a gallon of warm water and four tablespoons of methasol. Make sure that you have household ammonia handy because you need one tablespoon of household ammonia to uh, put into your mixture to allow the methasol to break down and not have lumps in it. So the methasol is already mixed in our liquid and then you let that set for at least a half hour to an hour. Okay, I'm going to make sure I put on gloves because my hands are going to be immersed in the liquid. Okay, this is the fun part. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start with my light colors. What makes marbling really interesting is that you don't know what you're going to come out with. And you can kind of play with it. So I'm just going to start by putting a few dots. Just do some swirls. Have fun coming up with some designs. Do you see how the white has started to break down before the yellow? Many of the different colors break down differently. I'm just going to come out. And try to put more paint than what you think you're going to need. because it does get absorbed in your fabric or your paper. Okay, this is the first step. And you don't need to rush yourself on this. Take your time. Now I'm taking a, just a normal comb, or you can use a fork, you can use a knife, or any object. And I'm going to just put it in the water and start pulling my design. And do you see how it looks marbleized already? If you see an area where you might want to add a little bit more color, like I want a little bit more red over here, you can go back and add it. Wow, look at this white. It's really looking neat. Okay, I'm just going to lightly pull. Okay, we're ready to get started. Now I'm going to take my paper and look for my mark, making sure the alum side is down first. I'm going to drop it in the water. Let it set for a minute. Then gently on the ends, I'm going to start pull up and work very slowly and let it run. I'm going to place it over on paper towel. This is the point where you would take it to your sink and rinse it. And not try to overwork it, but just rinse it gently. Okay, I'm going to now just put a little bit more green in here. And sometimes if you're going to do fabric, you can always 
put paper in and test it at first to see if you want to change anything on it. Okay, I like that. Let me pause here. Okay, I'm going to comb the paint mixture again, getting another design, preparing it for the silk. Okay, I'm going to take my silk and gently lay it on top. See how it just dis disappears in the paint? Wait a minute. Let the paint adhere to the silk. And then gently bring the corners up. Now this is the point where you would take it to your sink and rinse off the excess sizing and the dye. Okay. After you've rinsed off the sizing and the dye, the excess dye, you can hang it up or lay it flat to dry. And then what you want to do is heat set it with a iron or in your dryer, and this will just ensure permanency. The water can be used for about four days, and all you have to do is just continue to add more paint and do your special comb or designs that you want to do on it. It is so much fun using the Jacquard products and especially the marbling kit because you never know what you're going to come out with. So experiment and have fun.